All right, guys, cash our free pick winner. We had a 2 nothing lead, blew that, ended up winning in overtime, turned into a crazy sweat. When I did my video today, I said I was going to make it a very short video, turned into a nine-minute video. My apologies. I seem like I cannot create a short video, but I will try to keep today short. But I do want to go over a couple things really quickly with you guys. So first and foremost, cash our free play. Masterclass, we still got a bunch of games going on, but we can't have a losing day. Love that when we can only have a winning day in Masterclass. So I want to talk about a couple things on our free pick. All right, so I always talk about the importance of beating the closing line, and we did beat the closing line. So automatically a great play, right? Mm, not necessarily. I want to show you guys something really quickly. Let's take a real quick look at the power plays in this game. Boston, one for one on the power play. They only got one power play the entire game. Ottawa got six. Refs are against us, right? No, absolutely not. One of the things I was concerned about, playing a back-to-back, -back, I mentioned in the video today, back-to-back, -back, I said I wasn't overly concerned because I thought the line was too low. Um, we saw that it was a little too low. The Sharps still liked the value after where we bought it, and that's why the line closed where it closed. But this number right here says something. That says Boston was a tired team. These penalties get taken because you are tired. When you stop skating, you start holding, you start hooking, you start cross-checking, you start doing things to compensate for your tiredness. I cannot say that this was a great play, despite the fact that we beat the closing line. We won. We got maybe a little lucky at the end. But Ottawa outplayed them. Ottawa outskated them. They out hustled them. Um, so yes, was the line too low? It was. It was a little bit too low. Just a little bit. But at the end of the day, Ottawa showed up for this game. Boston, not so much. So this is a tough one. When I tell you we have to categorize our games, this is a tough one to do that, okay? We have four categories. We have good bets that win. That's where you beat the closing line and you win. That's where this game should go, right? We beat the closing line, we won. But I don't know. I don't know if we can place it there because maybe we have to consider putting this in the category of bad bets that won for the simple fact that Boston played lazy. We knew they were coming on a back-to-back. -back, so it's a tough one to categorize. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think this was a good bet because we beat the closing line and we won? Or do you think it was a bad bet because it's a tired Boston team that got outplayed most of the game by the Ottawa Centers and it just happened to win? There's four categories. I try to place every game in a category and that is how you get better, okay? There are good bets that win. There are good bets that lose. These are the ones where I'll come out in front of you guys and say, hey, look, we outshot them 43 to 26 and we lost. We had a game like that today. We had... Uh, who we have? The Islanders. Look at the shots on goal in the Islander game. We had the Islanders. We had the over in that game. So fortunately, we catch the over. But with the Islanders, they should have won the game. They didn't. We beat the closing line. That's a good bet that lost. Then you have bad bets that lose. Straightforward. We failed to beat the closing line. It was a shitty play. That was a free pick yesterday, right? And then you have your final category, the most deceptive one, bad bets that win. These are the games where you want to pat yourself on the back and say, good job, we cashed a bet but you didn't beat the closing line and maybe it wasn't a good play. And you have to be honest with yourself. Yeah, you won money, but was it a good play? No, it wasn't. So you guys tell me, do you think this was a good bet that won because we beat the closing line? Or do you think this was maybe a bad bet that we just got lucky to cash? Either way, guys, we have money in our pocket. Best of luck and we'll see you soon.